So let's look at the next one. And we're going to compare our x squared to 2x squared and 1 half x squared. So what I want you to do is I want you to, again, plot in that original parabola. And hopefully by now you've got those points memorized. We're at 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, negative 1, and negative 2 and 4. And we have our parabola that looks like so. That's our original. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a table of values for each of these different equations. And again, for this to be meaningful, we're going to use the same points. So let's call this one 1, and let's call this 2, and I'm going to do a table of values for the first equation. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And what am I going to get for y when I put in that equation? Well, we can do a little bit of mental math here. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is going to be at 8. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. 0 is still going to be at 0. 1 is going to be at 2. And 2 is again going to get a, be at 8. So let's do the table of values for the second equation. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So this one might require a little bit more calculation here. But let's go if we have 1 half, if we put negative 2 in here and we square it, we're going to get 1 half times 4, which of course we know is just 2. And if we do the same thing with negative 1, we're going to square negative 1, which is 1 times a half, is going to be 1 half. 0 is going to be the same. Negative 1 is going to be, oh, let's just make these positive because we want to make sure we use the right values here. Positive 1 is going to be a half, and positive 2 is going to be 2. Let's plot these graphs together on the same graph. So what I'm going to do for 1 is I'm going to do it in green. So we're going to go negative 2, 8, which puts us right at the top here. Negative 1, 2. 0 is the same. 1, 2, and 2, and 8. And there is our parabola. Ah, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in red and plot the other points. Negative 2, 2, 1 and a half, 0, 0, 1 and a half, 2, 2. So we have a parabola that looks like this. Like so. Now, what's happened to these parabolas when we compare them to the original one, to the black one? Well, if we look at our green parabola, or y equals 2x squared, what's happened to it is this has got thinner. We've taken our parabola and it's actually been squeezed to make it thinner. Now, of course, we don't use the term squeezed or thinner in math. But what we've actually done is we've taken this and stretched it. Now, the best analogy is imagine that this is a skipping rope. And you're going to put your foot right here. And we're looking at the black parabola. You put your foot right here at the bottom of the skipping rope, and you pull up on your skipping rope. What's going to happen to it? Well, of course, when you pull up on that, it's going to get thinner and longer. So it's actually been stretched. And that's what we want to think, that someone's come along and they've taken this and they have pulled it up. They have stretched it. So if we have y equals 2x, and again, we don't call it stretching. This is what we call 
a vertical expansion. So we have vertically expanded, we have vertically pulled up on that parabola and made it bigger. Now, if we look at the parabola that's in red, or the y equals 1 half x, what have we done to the original parabola? Well, again, in this analogy, I had to say, imagine it's like a hula hoop. So what you do is you put your foot at the bottom of the hula hoop, and now you have pressed down on it. So someone has come along, and they have taken from here, and they have pressed down. Now, again, we don't call it hula hoop, and we don't call it pressed down in math, but that's all that's happening. So this is still in the vertical direction. So vertical means up-down direction. This has now become a vertical compression. And that's the word we're going to use in math, is in red, we have, I have to write in the bottom here, a vertical compression. So if we look here at our original equations, and we're trying to compare what happened to our original equations, the original equation for a vertical expansion, this number was bigger than 1. For a vertical compression, this number is less than 1. So we're going to keep that in mind and come back to that. Now, the last thing we're going to look at before we move on from this parabola is let's look at symmetry. Because again, it's a quadratic. There's going to have to be some symmetry here. And where are we symmetric about? Again, this is right down the middle, right down that line, x equals 0. So it's symmetric about the y-axis, <coughs> or symmetric about the line x equals 0. So we're going to keep all that in mind. So we have a lot of information that we hold, have to hold in our mind, and we're going to pull it all together at the end here. 